Hey there, in this tutorial, I will show you how to use a melody loop to make a full beat in FL Studio. We're looking at how to get the chords, how to build melodies on top of the loop, and how to make an entire beat from scratch in FL Studio. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below, and let's get started. So right here, we have one of the melody loops from my website, sctutorials.com. You can get a whole bunch of nice melody loops for affordable prices. So, and this, this lesson works for any melody loops, by the way. So let's say I like this sound. Just drag in here. So let's listen to it. I want the tempo to be at um let's type in value, maybe at 100. The good thing with our melody loops is that it stretches to your tempo. So you don't have to set it manually, okay? So, but first of all, if maybe yours doesn't stretch to the tempo, most likely to be like out of beat, this side will sound. Like it needs to follow the beat. So the first you need to do is time your melody loop to the beat of your project okay so let's have this right here and then to make it match our beats just come to your time and adjust it to either four bars or eight bars just go to the nearest four bars the minimum you should go to is two bars okay in music production we typically have two bars four bars eight bars then um 12 bars and 16 bars okay so this loops look this loop looks closer to eight bars than it is to four bars that's what i'm using um, eight bars right here so it stretches up to eight bars okay and if maybe you're confused on how you can see bars i recommend you come to this snap to grid icon right here and make sure you're in bar mode okay so now we've had it to our uh, grid and make sure this is in on auto or you have it on stretch so that whenever you change your tempo it preserves the key and it also follows the beat of your project so if i press play now hear it now it's following the tempo perfect so the next thing you need to know how to do is derive the chords no matter how simple or complex your melody loop is you need to know how to derive the chord unless you just plan on using only the loop and you don't want to play any more, any more melodies on top of it you need to know how to get the chord progression out of it so i'm going to show you two ways to derive the chord progression from any melody loop in fl studio okay so i'm going to just double click this bring in a piano plugin and the reason why i'm using a piano plugin is that it's one of the instruments that is the true to key or true to tone sound like it doesn't change key or change tone as you play it. it it stays the same okay so i'll be using any any piano plugin should be just fine so i'll be using this plugin from um Arturia. just the default key then create an empty pattern paste it in here now we're going to come to the piano row now this is where it gets a little bit interesting but try to follow along okay so you need to know the root key of your melody loop if it's not written on the melody loop on us, the key and even the chord progression comes with all our loop kits, okay? But if maybe for some reason you can't find the tempo or the key name, you can just simply come to a free website like TuneBat and upload your loop in here. It's going to tell you the key, okay? So let's come back here. So it says C major. So I'm going to come to this snap to scale icon in the piano row. You right click it and then we're going to come into major you right click major then make sure you're on c so if you observe these light gray lines are the notes that are relevant to c major scale okay and make sure you turn this on so that it snaps so it doesn't let you deviate so for example if you want to click a note out of c major it won't let me you can see that so the darker notes are the notes that are not relevant to c major so when you play the simple notes anywhere we're going to build a simple chord progression one three five so one two this is the second relevant note on the scale. This is this light gray line right here. One, two, three, then four, five. So we have. Now, even if it doesn't sound correct, doesn't matter. As long as your snap to scale is on, just simply press shift up and down till you hear a chord that matches your melody loop. Okay, that's why we have this snap to scale on. So it's like it stays within this scale. Yeah. When you get the first chord right, just duplicate it across. Then you see that doesn't match. Yeah. Then Yeah. 
So let me reduce the volume of the call to make sure it matches because sometimes volumes can play tricks on you. Nice. So let's repeat it throughout the melody loop to make sure it's correct because some melody loops can change a little bit. So let's see. So this is the first way to find the chord progression for any melody loop. So let's look at the second way. The second method is not free, but it's a lot faster, okay? So let's come to this website called Codify. What you have to do is drag your loop into Codify. When it comes to upload, so you can either upload, just drag your loop in here or upload it manually, okay? And it's going to show you the chords. So if I press play, but before I press play, I'll just the volume, reduce the song and increase the chord. So let's see how it sounds. So I'm going to download the chord. You can download the MIDI chord so you can use it in your software, okay? And you can use it on any software, not just FL Studio. You can use the MIDI chords in Ableton, Logic Pro, you know, whatever software that supports or accepts MIDI. So I just come right here and I'll click um, MIDI time aligned. So I have it right there. Now, pay, do not pay attention to the tempo because um, Codify doesn't always get the tempo correct. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to turn this off. Open the piano roll. Remember, for your MIDI, you need to have the piano roll open. Now, just simply drag it right here. Make sure you turn off time signature, then click accept. So, let's see how it sounds like. And one of the reasons why I like Codify that it lets you know what the bass notes are. So, these are the bass notes, these notes at the bottom. That is C, G, F, G, right? These are the bass notes. So after finding the chord progressions, now you can add more melodies by following your chords, okay? So now we have this. You don't have to stick to this piano anymore if you don't like the piano. You can simply turn it off. And then, you know, let me bring in some drums and then we add other melodies. So to build the lead melody, make the note short now because because almost every melody you're going to build will be heavily dependent on your chords. So let's have this here. So next I can add maybe like a guitar, change this guitar to um, maybe solo mode, come right here. effect to this to just make it you know a bit more interesting I like using chorus a lot yeah, add some reverb just to give it a spacey feel I like using Fab filter pro R for some of my reverbs bass so for bass um, let me use triton extreme so many plugins you can use for bass my point is when you drive the chords you can start building melodies you know easily without trying to guess what is what right so to so play my chord remember we need to know what our number ones are so you can see c g f g that's our number ones okay 
So just come right here. Well, first, let's pick a sound. So come to browse, come to bass, then look for. I already have some faves in here. So come to. You know, bass is typically on the fourth, third, and fourth octave, sometimes on the fifth octave. So I need to break that up just so that it has that bounce. So bring it, bring that note down. So now we have that going so it's sounding good so you can see we have our uh, melody loop with other melodies and then we have our drums and now you can even add more melodies and structure out a full beat <laughs> 